Welcome to the science of hell. Can we lose the teeth? They are period authentic. <sighs> For centuries, humans have told stories of pale creatures who hide away from the sun, emerging only at night in search of blood. But did you know these myths can be traced back to an actual medical condition that still exists today? Porphyria, also known as the vampire disease. Porphyria is the name of a group of rare disorders which affect the skin and nervous system. Well, put simply, sufferers have too much of something in their system called porphyrin. Normally, there are enzymes in the body that convert the porphyrin molecules into heme, which is a major component of blood. But in people with porphyria, one or more of these enzymes are faulty, so the porphyrin molecules build up, causing illness. Porphyria is referred to as the vampire disease because many of its symptoms have parallels with vampiric folklore. Individuals with the disorder can have extreme skin sensitivity, resulting in painful swelling and blisters as well as shrunken gums that make their teeth look more prominent. And even red-coloured urine, as Harrow recently discovered when performing an autopsy on a young lifestyle vampire. Roll clip. There is only one blood disease that causes acute sensitivity to sunlight as well as chronic liver damage. What disease? Doctor has. Erythropoietic protoporphyria. So, what can you do if you're cursed with a vampire disease? Uh, well, not a great deal, sadly. In some cases, blood or heme transfusions can provide temporary relief from the symptoms, and apparently drinking animal blood can also help. Another link to vampire stories of old. Speaking of creatures who live in castles and suck the life blood out of their subjects, it's time for our side note. Hemophilia the royal disease. Like porphyria, haemophilia is an inherited blood disorder handed down from mother to son. People with haemophilia lack the ability to form blood clots, which can cause extreme bleeding and death. It's also known as the royal disease thanks to Queen Victoria, who spread the disorder from Buckingham Palace all the way to Moscow in a bid to keep her bloodline pure. It first showed up in her son, Prince Leopold, Duke of Albany, who died from a brain hemorrhage at the age of 31. Her grandson, Prince Leopold of Battenberg, died from hip surgery complications at the age of 32. Her great-grandson, Prince Waldemar of Prussia, bled out of 56 in a Bavarian clinic. And great-grandsons, Infante Alfonso and Infante Gonzalo of Spain, died in car accidents, bleeding to death despite sustaining only minor injuries. So, next time your cute cousin is winking at you across the table at the annual family barbecue, don't go there. Take it from the royals. Interbreeding is a bloody bad business. <laughs>